once upon a time, it was a cool day, it was a cool fall day in the city of San Diego. It was August 29, the beginning of the 2016 fall semester. A little freshman boy walked onto campus to begin his journey into university life. This boy was shy, timid, scared, and had no idea of what he was getting into. Although he was afraid, the boy told himself that he must become strong, that he must learn to grow and spread his wings in order to fly. He promised himself that he would change and come out of the shell that had hardened greatly as a result of his life experiences. My fellow Obsidians, this terrified little freshman is me. My name is Jen Michael Diaz Cole Cole, and I am running to become your academic coordinator for the 2017 to 2018 academic year. In just a single year, that shy boy has grown and has become a member of a community that he is proud to be a part of. APSA has become more than just an organization to me. I can confidently say that I view APSA as a family, a place where I can be myself and work on breaking, down, breaking open the shell that has held me back for much of my life. As academic coordinator, I understand that it would be my duty to coordinate the annual high school conference and serve as APSA's representative for the high school conference board. As an academic shadow for the 2016 to 2017 year, I have seen what it takes to plan a massive event such as APSA's high school conference. My shadowing experience combined with work as a wellness committee in East Squared have prepared me to, to face the challenges that I may encounter on board and to ensure the success of not just high school conference, but the success of eBoard as a whole. While high school conference makes up the bulk of the position, we must not neglect the other duties such as study sessions and the mentor-mentee program. Personally, I feel that study sessions is a resource that is not utilized to its full potential. This is why I plan to implement a tutoring system directly into study sessions so that GBMers can receive specific help on subjects that they struggle with. This will be accomplished through the use of Excel spreadsheets where GBMers sign in as they enter study sessions. They will be asked to enter basic information such as name, major, and as well as the subject they struggle with and a subject they are competent with. Based on their entries, attendees will be matched with a peer that is able to help them. Not only will this help attendees with their academic struggles, but it will also encourage peer-to-peer -peer bonding as the tutors interact with the two T's. Yes, that's a word. Furthermore, the mentor-mentee program is a remarkable system indeed. However, it is not perfect. A particular to I have noticed and will be tackling as academic coordinator is follow-ups with mentors and mentees. As of now, once mentors are assigned to their mentees, the job of the coordinator and assistant practically ends. In other words, there is nothing that ensures the mentors are engaging with their mentees and vice versa, except for a single feedback Google form that is sent out halfway through the semester. I plan to change this by introducing a bi-weekly follow-up form that mentors will be required to submit on a regular basis. This will ensure that the mentors remain engaged with their mentees and allow any conflicts that arise to be addressed swiftly. So here I am, that shy freshman boy standing in front of all of you today, running to become your academic coordinator. I ask that you give this boy a chance to spread his wings and fly together with his fellow eboard. In the words of my East Squared Paparu, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thank you.